Define my travels as you can. What is going on, everyone? Welcome, goodoldgames.com community. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode, what are we on? Seven, I believe, of Pen and Pixels. I am your host, Arvin Elleron, and uh, hi, everyone out there. I hope everybody is doing well and that you guys are all having a wonderful Tuesday evening. It's uh, November 10th, uh, 7 p.m., about four minutes after 7 p.m. Eastern, and I guess uh, 12 a.m. GMT, if I'm not mistaken. And I hope everyone is uh, doing well here as uh, Good Old Games descends into the depravity of a uh, Playboy channel. Uh, that's clearly where we're at. Um, and I, I can see that, you know, when I signed on, I assumed that this was a family friendly show and a family friendly channel. And I see now that actually what it's become is uh, a place, uh, a cesspool, a hive of scum and villainy, if you will. And I'm, I'm horrified. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but it's good to see everyone. I hope everyone is doing well and welcome to uh, Pen and Pixels and our continuation of Ravenloft. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to follow the good old games.com uh, Twitch stream. Please make sure to check us out and follow us on Twitter as well. And please make sure to follow us all on our individual channels also. Many thanks to Outstar uh, Walker for streaming Heroes of Might and Magic 3. As I've said many times, I love that game. And um, it's like Bob Ross, Outstar. I never want that stream to stop. I want you to just, every week, I want to see Heroes of Might and Magic in like 2050. I still want you to be streaming that game. I love that game. Um, and uh, it's so relaxing and just to watch you play it. And I love it. I love it. It's uh, it's good times. And so I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, but um, it, it's all ogre now. Yeah, I know. Exactly, exactly. It was a good run, but now we're all in trouble. But anyway, it's a pleasure to see everybody, and I hope everyone is doing well. And uh, yes, Ravenloft time. Before I start, though, I do want to mention one quick thing, and that is uh, that for those of you who don't know, um, I am going to be streaming uh, right after here on my own channel. I'll take a little break. We're going to go until about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, which is three hours from now. I will take a little bit of a break uh, and then head over to my channel to continue. I'll be playing Phoenix right over there. But I want to mention uh, that right afterwards as well is... Uh, um, Chrono Wolf's, uh, actually, I think it's Chrono Wolf, not Matt Cat. I believe it's Chrono Wolf with Alternate Reality. He is doing that show tonight, so please stick around for Matt. Matt really is a good streamer and a good guy. And I want to mention that uh, Matt Outstar and I have a creative stream planned for uh, Saturday the 21st. And I want to make this clear. Everyone should mark your calendars. We are going to be appearing on uh, Matt's um, creative stream, which will be happening Saturday, and I believe it's at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, if I'm not mistaken, Saturday the 21st. And it's going to be a creative stream where I'm going to be writing a story. Uh, Chad is going to give us a prompt, and then I'm going to be writing a story, and Outstar is going to be illustrating it, and Matt is going to be setting it to music. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. Uh, and again, that is, um, I believe, a week from this coming Saturday. And then that night on my channel, I have a special Dungeons & Dragons event. Um, we are going to have a pen and paper uh, campaign event um, involving uh, six authors, myself, uh, Eric's got to be Chris Jackson, who both write for Pathfinder. Eric also writes for Wizards of the Coast and does like Forgotten Realms books. Also, um, John Helfer's editor and author who uh, streams with me on the D&D channel on the D&D sessions as well, along with Mike Cole and Peter Brett, both um, best-selling authors. And we are going to be running an adventure uh, that is run and created by the legend himself, Mr. Ed Greenwood. For the first time, Ed Greenwood, who created the Forgotten Realms and Dungeons and Dragons, is going to be on Twitch 
and he's going to be on my channel running an adventure for us that he has written and run. This is all his. So we're going to be running a special adventure through him. I'm super pumped about that. I'm trying to promote it everywhere I can. So that's happening again on Saturday the 21st in the evening. So please mark your calendars for those things because it's going to be super, super awesome. I'm very excited about it. And uh, yeah, I've, I've played some D&D with Ed before. Ed is also my publisher, full disclosure. Um, I have a three book series coming out with him next year. And um, so his uh, publishing company, the Ed Greenwood Group, is publishing it. Uh, but Ed is also a good dude. So yes, I'm super excited. Yeah, Ed Greenwood, the Ed Greenwood, the guy who writes Elminster, the guy who created Forgotten Realms, that's Ed. So I'm super excited about that. So anyway, since this is a D&D stream with Ravenloft, I thought it was appropriate to do that. All right, let me get rid of this and let me turn on, where are you, webcam? Show yourself. There's webcam. There we go. Hi, everyone. Good to see everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. And uh, yeah, welcome in. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's happening um, over on my channel, but also on Good Old Games that morning is going to be the creative stream with Matt, with Outstar, and me. And I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, you'll get a chance to sort of see more of that creative side. We're going to Bob Ross it for you, is what we're going to do. All of us are going to come in. We're all going to have the froze. Um, everyone, including Outstar. In fact, I expect Outstar to have the froze. I have this image of, of Outstar as I'm doing the story, just sort of there on the can, uh, sort of at the canvas, and she's just painting away with the fro, which is clearly going to be dyed red or something, and she's just sort of sitting there, and she's like, happy little, happy little zombies, happy little vampires, maybe there's just a, there's just a happy little ghoul over here, maybe we'll just put a little, little drug, blood dripping right on this tree, you know, we have no mistakes here, the zombie I think killed somebody, but we have no, we have no corpses here, we just have happy little accidents. That's all we've got over here. That's 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 my that's my dream for what I think is going to actually work. It's going to be a good time. It's going to put a little happy bush. That's exactly right. Um, my shirt today, Sherry, and I know. Look at this. I'm super boring. All I have today is just this blue overshirt and a regular gray shirt. But I do have, however, my Whalers hat. This is Hartford Whalers uh, American Hockey. If you guys are not Canadian or American, you won't care about this. But I'm just going to tell you right now. This back in the day, the Whalers were awesome. I grew up in Connecticut about a half hour west of um, the Hartford Whalers. And I remember sitting there in 1986 listening as uh, Mike Leute, uh was trying to uh, stand on his head and uh, get the Whalers through um, to the conference finals, and it didn't happen. They lost in seven games to the Canadians. But anyway, uh, never forget the whale. It was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Sharian. Happy little zombies, bloody little accidents. <laughs> Happy little worm that walks, exactly. Anyway, so that's what I'm wearing today is my Whalers cap, and I hope that will do the job for you. So, uh, Ravenloft time, folks. We have got to uh, figure out what the hell was going on. We are in this city. We're in this town, and um, we have to figure out... Uh, we're actually, I think, in the inn inside the town, and so we've actually got to get some information and see if we can escape the place that is uh, known as Ravenloft. And so, won't you follow me as we head into the land known as the Fog and the Land of Strahd. Let's do it. Whoa, my God, what? Okay, you guys get to see my desktop for about three seconds. I hope you like it. I hope you like what you see. Hang on. Having recently returned from, Having recently returned from things and stuff. The Bruins eat Canadians for breakfast. Yeah, see, the thing is, I'm, I'm generally actually a, a Boston uh, fan. I'm a Boston Celtics fan. I'm a Red Sox fan. But the thing is, I just can't be a Bruins fan because I used to go to the Hartford Civic Center. And, like, there, there were times when the Bruins fans who all came to travel, like, the Bruins just owned the Whalers. And so I just can't, in good conscience, feel myself as being... I just can't do it, man. I can't, I can't be... I can't be pro Bruins. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I'm not, you know, that's not where I'm at. So, okay. Yeah, Shadow Mage Canadians win. Well, see now, see, yeah. But see, the thing is, it depends on, yeah, I know. It would drive you crazy. It's all alphabetical. Does that make you feel better? It's all, it's all alphabetical, if that helps. Uh, all right. So let's move on to continue the game. Uh, I don't remember. I think I, I think it's this one. I think it's me and Barovia. Yes, this is correct. Oh, that's right. This is where I am, and the bigger problem was the fact that I need to find someone. Sorry, that's probably really loud. Hold on a second. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Okay. I dropped that pretty low. Is that too loud, guys? I hope it's not, because I dropped that pretty low. Is that good, bad, and different? Too loud? Is that all right now? Can someone tell me if that is fine? 
Let's say, let me know if that's okay volume wise. It's fine? Okay. So I need to find someone who can cure this guy's, um, cure this guy's poison because otherwise we're going to have trouble. Okay. Volume is okay. I know. What's up, Jedi? I know. I have to freaking find someone who can cure my poison. And I don't know who can do it, actually. All right. You. What's your deal? Oh, all right. This is the guy that doesn't say anything. I don't want to talk to this dude yet. What's your deal? He won't talk, nor does it look like he cares to move from that chair of his. The best that can be done is to let him sit and stare away whatever years are left to him. Hey, what's up, Alphador? All right, I already talked to her. She gave me the brush off. Man, I need someone who can give me something to cure poison. Whoa, who are you? What's up, Raven? That's the entrance. Anyone help me with poison? I have a very sick comrade. Anybody? Can anybody help my poisoned comrade? Wait, this is a second raven? Oh man, I thought the raven was awesome. Now I can't trust him anymore. Feels the effects of poison. I know he feels the effects of poison. I'm trying to freaking find someone who can protect him from poison. Do I need to let him die and then raise dead? Is that what I have to do? Come on, man. Or if I could find a shop, that might work too. Yeah, exactly. Is there a doctor in the house? That was the Raven Loft. Haha, <laughs> very nice, Prey. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. I very much appreciate your quality of pun. What I don't appreciate is the singular lack of doctors here. Me a goddamn doctor. Oh. Oh, darn it. I thought those were potions. Instead, they're just bedrolls. Controlled. Give me. Give to me your antidote. Does anyone have an antidote? Anyone? There's a cat there. Cat! Can you give me an antidote? Are you. Is anyone here. See, the thing is, I tried resting with him before, and I, he ended up dying. Like, he did not survive. So, what I really need is a cure poison. Slow poison is nice, but what I really need is a cure poison. I don't know where to actually find it. Alright, let me talk to this dude. Yeah, I know. Well, I thought so. I thought sleep would work, but... Okay. Young Vistani, as a gypsy, you must know a great deal of land outside this town. May we converse ah, with you a moment? There are a few places in Ravenloft our guard or caravans haven't seen. That's true enough. We're traders, entertainers, and escorts to the realm. That being said, allow me to act as a merchant and sell you the most excellent Vestani potion I am carrying today. An antidote to the venomous fog of Barovia. Uh... Let's see. What are you asking for the potion? Easily enough. Fifteen coins is the price. We'll start there, argue there, and finish them, Giorgio. Yeah, just cop that should be alright, Sherry, and you can just copy from the wiki. Mine is more story oriented than just RPGs, because I do play adventure games as well, but um but uh, but I appreciate it though, sir. Thank you. Giorgio. Outsiders are not welcome in camp. Well, not often. You don't know how the villagers treat us. Why, Bray Martikova is the only one who smiles when I enter the blood of the vine. I, I suppose I might be able to introduce... Okay, to one of our I'll increase it then, Alfred. Perhaps even a seer. 
You're not the villager after all. But you would have to be blindfolded. I will fix that. Let me know if that's better. Let's do it. Willing to put that much faith in me, I shan't let you come to harm. Though I can't answer for my elders, they're most likely to have you thrown from camp. You must know as well that it will take some time to reach my people. Thank you, baby. Up until next evening, when you hear the fiddles and tambourines, our lamentations echoing in the cold mountain air. Yeah. And then I got a quarter. After hours of hard travel, the dark and salty day. Ah, uh, thank you, Outstar. I really hope that the uh, these folks here can cure poison. Wait till you guys hear the drop. Have you anything to see the end to poison? You do see a small person in a cunning hat. That is my daughter. <laughs> my daughter is not easily embarrassable. Hesitantly, Madam Eva admits to a missing card. Behind there? The one face of the Tarolka which has been stolen by a Okay, how does this card help me cure poison? I'm very goal oriented right here. As the meeting comes to a close, she really loves that pattern. So all she told me is that they need a card. Okay. Nice. Uh, that's great. You know what that doesn't do, is it doesn't tell me anything whatsoever about saving my... Alright, I'm going to save that under R of Uncertain. Uh, no, I'm save the game. What I'm trying to do now is find someone who can cure him, because he's poisoned. Let me try resting. Him. All right, so then I have to raise from the dead. See, no, that's not going to work. There's got to be a cure poison somewhere in this town. Make sure she isn't a small leopard disguised as my daughter. No, I'm pretty confident. Pretty confident I know the deal. All right, so I need to find someone in this godforsaken hive of scum and villainy. That's my child. You can see that she is not a leopard. Cows, chickens, dogs, geese. Where are the animals of the village? Never have I known a village so devoid of livestock. We should be pushing our way through stubborn market traffic or fending off village mutts. If the few simple creatures which inhabit every village have seen fit to stay away from this place, we should be especially wary. Thanks for your contribution. Okay. Um... So, can I go this way? Sharon waves to the leopard girl. Yes, my daughter is a, uh, is a uh, somewhat, I wouldn't say frequent frequent, but she appears on my channel periodically. 
She is seven years old, and she is uh, going to be eight in two months, and she's a wonderful child. Hmm. What were those people? They're just like, uh, they're just people that like wander around the village. They're villagers here. But I'm trying to find someone who has like an antidote. Hello? Does anyone have an antidote? Hello? There is much to be said for appearing friendly to the natives and possibly winning allies among them. Since we've stepped within this home unannounced, a cautious and friendly approach is best. Does my daughter know that I name lots of game characters after? Yeah. Who the heck are you? What? You have anything to say? Hmm. Does your child have superpowers you're aware of, but hiding from that would make you ever more cautious about streaming in case she accidentally broadcasts into a small part of the world over there? Listen, my daughter, uh, you know, her superpower is being an awesome kid. And she actually, um, her, uh, her new movie that she wants to do, her birthday party, is going to be about the movie Inside Out. She wants an Inside Out themed birthday party because she loved that movie, so she's got good taste. I need an antidote. Oh, I need an antidote. I need some medicine. I know, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to help him, but... No, I, I can't find anyone who can help him. No one in this town knows how to fix poison. He's like the longest lasting poison of all time. You. you! Ah! You. you! Ah, you're not the friendly sort, huh? Alright. Yeah, I saw that, but... She has telekinetic powers including manipulation of objects, reading of minds, persuading foliage and small chickens to grow at an abnormally fast but not implausible rate, yes. She knows what you're thinking, right as you speak. She already knew before you said it that you were going to say that, Charlie. A cat. All right, cat. <laughs> Tell me what the antidote is. You can unpoison him. Answer me, cat. 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 You will feel the wrath of stuff. Answer me. Listen, the internet was built for you, cat. Tell me how to get some poison saved. Answer my question. Stop sweeping. Right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Look at this. Wait a second, wait a second. I think, I think his ointment fixes everything. Please tell me it fixes everything. Does it? Does it? What? Oh, for heaven's sake. Victory! The ointment saves him! He is no longer poisoned. Yes! Victory! Was that you? No, it was the cat. Thank you, cat. I would like to thank you for having given me your ointment. It is my fault. I apologize for not having trusted that you could save him. I'd like to thank you for having given him the ointment that he needed to survive. Thank you, cat. Ladies and gentlemen, hashtags thanks to the cat. Hashtag thanks, cat. Wait a second. Why did I get... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Sorry about that. There we go. You know, I think that skeleton is alive. You think the skeleton is alive? Why? It's not moving. No, I'm moving around it. But it's not moving. Hashtag thanks, Cat. <laughs> Cat was the chosen of Obed High. He guided you to the right path without even waking up. Yes, exactly. He's <laughs> like, alright, go ahead and yell at me. Whatever. But the truth is... Okay, that was pretty cool. All right, so now I need to get back to the inn. I'm oh boy! Oh! What are these people attacking you? What are they attacking you? They're bandits. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ah, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. <sighs> I left the house and immediately... I left the house and immediately I got attacked. Now I gotta go find that room again. Shoot. That was not the time for me to get attacked. Ugh. Just get saved. Yeah. Now I need to remember what the heck room that was. Okay, first of all... I remember... You have to find the cat. <coughs> you have to find the cat. Alright, that's the inn. You have to find the cat. Yeah, I do have to find the cat, that's true. It's all about the cat. It's all about that cat. Cat. I think... Yeah, the fighting in this game is not easy. I think it's here. Yeah, yeah, I think this is right. I did. Is this the right place? Uh... No, but there's nothing... healing ointment from a dead guy. Well, the problem was not that. The problem was... Oh, now I gotta remember where the heck that cat was. He was on the table with some chairs. He was on the table with some chairs, yeah. He might be here. Yes, yes, yes. We should be polite about our inquiries, right? Oh, yeah. That guy didn't talk, I remember. How many cats bite paint off the walls, either? Yeah, that's definitely not that. Um, maybe it's up and to the left? So up and to the left. Oh. Alright. Who the heck are you? Hold on a second. I don't want to be in a quest, I want to save poison. Let's see. Uh, we don't mean to intrude, but are you alright? Yours is one of the few doors not barred to us, and we're in search of information. Door? Unlocked? Have I left the door open again? Does it matter now that my son is lost? I already you found this guy no out idea, in the village. Hobbs, like, outside. No idea. The townsfolk talk as if I never had a son. Or as if he's been dead for years. No, it's just because they're all dimmed like that. Um, are you well? Oh, my dear son. He's not alive. Not in Barovia. I can tell you that. Our father feels these things. He knows them in his dreams. The dreams. I've seen the dead, bloodless face of the boy, my son. And I've heard him speak. In dreams, he tells me he will be avenged. And then lightning strikes in the forest, and he is gone. Alright, we met a gypsy on the way here. Do you know the Vistani? Have no dealing with the Vistani. I warn you. Such vagabonds may have had a hand in my son's disappearance. No good towns. They're like people who try to them. steal money. They deal in curses and fortune telling. I believe them to be thieves. Alright, so you're looking for your son. Which I already knew. Uh, let's see, wait a second. Definitely. Well, those are the interior locations. Oh, so you can only see the interior locations from inside. Okay. It's interesting, I did not know that. Alright. Alright, um, right here is. Guy. Oh, son. Maybe straight across. NPC Yank stops poison, kidnap the guy, and bring him with you. <laughs> you should have marked a cat place. I know I should have marked the cat place. I didn't know I was going to get attacked the minute I got outside. Wait, this is it, I think. Is that the cat? Yes! We have arrived at the cat! Hello, cat. Oh, great cat. In another universe, I used your knowledge and skill to cure my... Almost fallen comrade. Please give to me the power of Kyaden's ointment. 
Nice. Okay. Now we're saving it. <laughs> Save. Uh, let's make it... Let's do that. Okay. I'm actually going to rest in the home of the cat. It's a safe place. Cat, are you still here? Thank you, oh cat, for looking over us. Thank you for making sure we did not come to harm. Thank you, cat. May God bless you and all cats. Okay. Fully healed, we're ready to go. All right, bandits. I'm pretty sure I memorized. Yeah, I got my memorized going on. Got my magic missiles. What's up? All right, where are you, bandits? What you got? Ah, uh, I was ready for you this time. Oh, you have the market, Daddy. I did, didn't I? Oh, did I not do that? Maybe I didn't. Okay. House of cat. <laughs> you wake up with a cat sleeping in your head. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. So now, I guess I'll just keep going north. It would seem some places we are not meant to enter, regardless of our efforts. Best to waste of more thought for more muscle on this door, but to move on. Listen, I'll move on if I so choose. <laughs> Alright. Cruel to say, but this is not a happy, jovial place to be. I dare say I have passed through villages where a plague has left them with more life than we'll find here in Barovia. Find more cheer. Wait! What? Two cats! <laughs> they have multiplied! <laughs> Guys, the cats run the show here. All right, cat, confess. How do you know the other cat? How are you organized? Where is Rachel? Where is she? Who do you work for? <laughs> Guys, these cats aren't going to break. You don't think they do? I think these cats know more than they're telling. I think these cats are holding out on us. That's what I think. I think these cats are like, don't tell them about the dogs. <laughs> are they being catty? <laughs> wah, wah. You should write the house of the two cats. House of two cats? <laughs> house of one cat. Let's see. It was up here, right? Oh, you should write house of one House of two cats. Excavation point. Nope. Oh, you can't do an exclamation point, I guess. This is a Kajit village in the past when they were simple cats, right? Ooh, hey, look at that. Nice fancy door. All right, let's be on our guard here. This is the first time we found a house that looked a little bit different. Speak, sir. Oh, so he doesn't want to talk. All right, so he doesn't want to talk. Not a bad house. Well, the truth is, he doesn't have a cat, so we know that he doesn't run things around here. We need to find, need to find where the other cat is. Just go to the house of the cat, and you'll find. Well, no, I already found that, but I need, I would need to find more cats. Obviously, there's not enough information. Aha! More Kyagi and Rugerun's ointment. There's no cat. That's true, there's no cat though. Oh, maybe those two cats put that there. Maybe the two cats put the ointment there? See, now you're... Yeah. See, my daughter's right. Obviously, the cats put that thing there. There must be a cat underground. Watch the can holes. <laughs> Ravenloft, cat's possession. You found the secret temple. <laughs> Is that going to be a catastrophe? I like how you spelled cat glob. Cot. Because it's Strahd. Because it's Strahd. <laughs> That's funny. He's got it like Cots. C-A-H-D. That's funny. Cot. Cot's possession. Okay. 
So, I mean, I at least found some of the ointment, but... Go to the house of the two cats and thank them. Where are you, bandits? Show yourself! Yeah, I know, exactly. Um, I still haven't checked many of the houses over on that side, and I haven't checked down here. There's the inn. I need to get 15 coins so I can get through that mist. So I can get the gypsy stuff to get through that mist for sure. Hey, Dragon Spear, what's up? How you doing, Dragon? Welcome. We just found three cats, and they were great. They saved us. Yep, that's right. We got three cats. You, tell me what you know about the cats in this town. Ah, uh, he won't talk, eh? <laughs> cats got your tongue? Kick his chair. Ah, uh, well, you know. That's not going to convince me. Ow. <laughs> you okay? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Why did this meow? Like meow. Like a cat. Get it? <laughs> Man, there's a lot of quiet people in this town. This NPC has nothing, has no quest for me currently. That's what we've got. Yeah. You, what? You guys heard that, right? What? There was a cat that just meowed. Where? In my, hear, in my headphones. You guys heard that. This is a cat spiracy. Really? Angry cat noises. They all submitted to their cat overlords. No one wants to hear about cats. Okay. Suppose people want to go on. You know. Reveal yourself to me. All right. Uh so let's pick up this house down here. Tell us. Tell, us Tell us what we need to know. Oops. Okay. Three, two, one. Speak to me. Roar! <laughs> All right. Let's try. Yeah, exactly. Which was the cat that meowed? I seek the cat. What? So, you think you can fool me by placing your house with two exits? Let's try harder than that, cat. Ooh, wait a minute. We got a bandit? We got a bandit? Pick up Cleric Skull of Neutralized Poison. Nice. I am definitely going to want a scroll of neutralized poison, that's for sure. The cats were Clossum, Fantastic, and Little Catty. The cats had a moment there with you. They had a nice cat attitude towards you. Remember to say police to the nice kittens. You have to be good at persuasion. Outstanding work, Heimdall. Wow, there's... It's 740. I'm liking all these potions of extra healing and stuff. Fiery burning. So there's got to be like a secret something here. <laughs> that pun combo! <laughs> Tough act to tail. Alright. I'm going to save. This is going pretty well. So I need to find... Show me the cats, the cats, the cats. Are you a bandit? There's too many quiet people, actually. Yep, there's too many quiet people. I'm suspicious. The only ones who are talking here is the cat. <laughs> okay, continuing to go south. And by the way, in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm not sort of aimlessly wandering. I'm trying to track down information about where I have to go. And I'm trying to get coins. A cat, a cat, a cat. Find a There's a cat? Where, where, where? <gasps> a cat! <laughs> not only that, not only that, it's a different color cat. <laughs> I saw a cat that red. 
Ooh, and a footman's pick. I saw a cat and red. Yeah? Lots. All right, cat. <laughs> Explain what you know. Why do we growl at him? Who meowed at us? <laughs> you can try to play the silent game all you like. But you'll pay for this. <laughs> With kitty litter? It's a minor cat. <laughs> I know. Why is it a, exactly? Why is the pick there? It's a minor cat. He, he's got like a pick for like mining. <laughs> Your benevolent cat overlord has blessed you with the tools you need. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I should learn to be grateful. I'm afraid you'll find the warehouses abandoned. Trade has become a forgotten art in Barovia. Few travel and fewer still can afford to transport valuables from place to place. In what? recent years, that has cost has become their lives. Hey, listen, hey, hey, what's up? Reverb, what's going on, man? Listen, man, okay? Whoa, what is that? Broken one. Ah, ah, oh, no. Broken one. Ah, oh, no, there's a lot of them. What are those? They're bad guys. Uh, magic result. You. Oh. Uh, what just happened? Hold on a second, hold on a second. Ah. Are really difficult. I'm in trouble. <sighs> this didn't work out. Let me reload it. Um. Anyway, pray to the cats for guidance. He was a broken one. I don't know what that means. Uh, so, Reverb, what's up, man? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, King Foom, uh, runs the Reverb Games channel. And uh, if you guys have not already done so, please make sure to follow him. Um, on my own channel, I'm a member of the Legion, which is uh, King Foom's group. And Reverb Games is the one who runs that. So, good to see you, man. How you been, dude? How is life, sir? Good to see you. All right, so this time we're going to try to do this a little bit differently. We're going to go down to where that place was. gonna deal with that broken guy. Wait, where the heck are we? Uh, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna do it in right now, sweetie. Yep, but we're gonna change things up a little bit, though. First of all, we're going to bless you. Um... We're going to cast shield on you. Maybe she hangs out with a broken one. We're going to aid you. Nice, dude. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Who are you? That's really good. All right, here we go. Who are you? All right, first of all, I got to get into a corner. No, it's the same guy. Same guy. I got him. All right. Are you sure you got them? Yep, I'm sure. That time we got him. All right, now we've got a war hammer. Let's see if that's any better than his mace. Yes, I'm sure, sweetie. I'm sure there's another one here someplace, but. Honey, I have to search this place, so. Oh, can I not? You know what? Maybe I can't. I may not be able to attack because they're back row. I wasn't even thinking about that. Back row means that um, they're behind my other characters. I don't get 
Um, so, right, there's that. And then he needs a sling. Shoot. This UI is a little tiresome at times. Um, let's try this. I know I have a sling somewhere. Yeah, two of them are girls. This one, in fact, this one, you recognize her name? Yes, I wonder why I would have done that. She's my favorite one. <laughs> Is she's she your? I thought you would like that. Okay. I don't understand. I could have sworn I had a. Problem is, he can't use. That's obnoxious. I'm gonna have to find a sling, because he can't use a, uh... Should be able to use an arrow or daggers or anything like that, so... That's unfortunate. Alright, let's at least cure light wounds on you. Hey, what's up, Deacon? Okay. Uh, let's save it here. Actually, wait a second. Those are stones. Those can be used as part of a sling. Like, you can take a sling in your stone and go, you know, and throw it. The moment, though, I need a sling to actually make use of the sling stone, and I haven't had it so far. Okay. We got another shield here, is that what we got? Okay, let's throw another sling stone in there. Lovely, it's wonderful. Alright, so I just need to figure out a way to get him a sling so I can use that. Okay, so it takes care of this warehouse. Which I should probably mark down. It's a bunch of <laughs> Imagination Warehouse, yeah. Uh, let's see. Warehouse with broken ones. Is it, I thought it was broken people. Nope. Broken ones is what they were called. Okay. You now we can go save in it. There again. You don't think I should go in there again? All right, well, probably won't need to, I don't think. Yeah, welcome, by the way, everybody, to the uh, one non-Fallout stream on the entire uh, Twitch. You guys have not found uh, stream number 758,652,799 stream of Fallout. I had, when I logged on this morning, uh, I had, there were nine people that I follow that were streaming. All nine of them were streaming Fallout. All nine. I was like, okay. Pretty sure I've already been in this place. This is a different place. The guy wouldn't speak? No, 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 no. It's like an empty warehouse, I think. Hey, what's up, Matt? How you doing? Thank you for not streaming Fallout 4. No problem, man. Fallout is not my jam. I played a little bit of... I played about 17, 18 hours of New Vegas, and I got tired of it. And the, the main problem is I just don't like... I just don't like... Uh, yeah, they do. It's true. But I just don't like... Um, I don't like post-apocalyptic settings. Like, I just... It's not my thing. And, um, and I don't... You know, Fallout 1 annoyed me for other reasons. So it's not that I think they're bad games, and I like the company. I mean, I like Skyrim and stuff like that. Yeah, I saw that. I saw um, but, uh, yeah, but I'm not, um, I'm not so much down with the, I'm not so much down with the Fallout. So there's no one I can sell anything to in this town. There's no merchant at all. Nobody has any money. That game had a falling out. Yeah! 
Why aren't I playing Fallout 1 or 2? Not a fan, man. I'll tell you when I got tired of Fallout 1, and it's when I made a pistol specialist, and I came up right next to... Whoa, hello. Uh, pistol specialist, I came up right next to a guy. Right next to the guy. Um, and uh, I have, like, execution style with a pistol. And um, freaking misses with a 98% chance to hit a point-blank range. And I'm like, that's that. Uninstalled it, never looked back. I'm like, I'm not doing that, man. I'm sorry. Not happening. I do not play the RNG of the gods game. Not doing that. Ugh, so irritating. Lots of throwing knives. Twenty-five out of thirty people you follow were playing yesterday. I mean, I you know, man, people are people really love them some Fallout, I guess. I do give it credit for being set in Boston. That definitely raises it in my estimation. I mean, I have nothing against it, but geez, like, okay. How about other shields? Can I do that? Oh, lovely. How about that? Good. And this. Oh, I can't fit it. Okay. It's all right though. Gave me a little bit more clearance. All right, good night, Koal. Okay, yeah, I know. I see there's a sword here, too. Broadsword. My character, yep, it's, we're gonna, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff to sell, but we need a merchant that actually has money to sell it to us. You think if we talked to the cats, they would buy any of it? Like, if we offered them, would they pay us in catnip? Or, like, what would they... I'm figuring there's got to be some way to make a deal with the obvious owners of this town. The king? I know. I don't know where the king is. That's all dice rolls. Yeah, but it's it's not it's not just that. Dice rolls is one thing. Uh, in D and D, it's um five minutes to eight. You gotta get going back to grandma. I love you, my sweetheart. I will. I will tell you if I find more if I find the stuff. Here's a person with a cat. Um. They have Chrono Trigger on GOG. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. It's it's nothing against Fallout. Again, uh, you know, it may be a very good game, you know, myself. But in D&D, &D, as an example, that's a cool picture. In D&D, &D, right, in pen and paper D&D, &D, like, for example, I'm playing, um, continuing my campaign on my channel on Thursday night. And I'm telling you right now, as someone who's been dungeon mastering for over 25 years, if I knew someone was a particular expert in the use of the dagger and they walked up next to somebody, I don't care what they do, they're not missing that person, okay? It's just not happening. So after a while, I find that there's just sort of a ridiculousness to basing things, and I mean, I'm, I'm fine with the whole dice rolling thing. I actually think the dice rolling thing can lead to a lot of funny and enjoyable outcomes. But what I'm not fine with is having something where it, it sort of destroys the immersion at the point when you realize that a specialist is just never gonna miss at point blank range with a pistol. Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Guy's on his knees, unconscious, and you fire at him from point blank range and miss. No. No. Sorry. What's up, Chris? But I have nothing against it. I watched it. I have to say, I watched uh, Rob from uh, Game Crashers playing it today. Oh, hey. What's up, Bandit? Hello, Darkling. Anyone else? Anyone else want to be a smart guy? Better get inside here first. Um, and uh, it looked to me, I mean, again, from what I could tell, it kind of looked to me like I was watching just like Fallout 3 with like a different mod put onto it. Like it didn't look to me like to be some big advancement graphically or otherwise. I know they made some changes in like the VAT system or whatever, but I didn't see anything that I was like, whoa, this is the most, you know, I don't know. Right, of course, of course, Sharon, of course. Of course.
But that's what I'm talking about. If you are fully aware of the circumstances and you walk up to a person in a desert, and all of that is what would happen in this particular thing in Fallout, walk up to him with the pistol, and then you aim your pistol at him and then miss him at point blank range, I get off the train at that point. I'm sorry. And I don't particularly like that kind of... I feel like there's a difference in RNG games that sort of are concentrated on that. Games like uh, XCOM, I get annoyed with too, for that same reason sometimes. Um, I didn't find that happen as much with Shadowrun, the Shadowrun Returns games. Happens a little bit, but just not nearly to the same degree. Um, but, yeah. Oh, hey. Hey there. See, this is kind of... Alright, so I have to take the quiver off. And then I have to reload the quiver that way, which is a little... That's a little clunky in my opinion, but... Anyone see my soapbox? Listen, I'm just saying. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, hi, smart guy. Poison. That girl is poison. Whoops. Poisoned. Poison. Alright. Let's, uh. Yeah, the game has to follow its own rules. I'm just saying that's not a game I'm interested in playing. In reality, in real life, you would never walk up to someone when you are a specialist in pistol and from five inches away when the person is unconscious miss them. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. And like for that to happen in a game is a game I'm just not interested in playing. I just don't. It just completely destroys any sense I have in immersion. Like all of a sudden I become a character whose main sort of like characteristic is that they are incompetent rather than their main characteristic being that they're a hero and that's what I want as a hero. So it's one thing to say, well, here's something that could maybe improve the situation or, you know, all that. It's a whole other scenario to say that uh, you would actually just miss them entirely. I, I just, sorry, cannot get on board that train. Neutralize poison, lovely. Yeah, that's definitely true. And I don't mind... Listen, I don't mind some RNG. I'm not one of those people who's completely, like, all strategy all the time at all costs. I'm not like that, but, I mean, I'm sorry if I, I just... I cannot... I just I just don't buy it. I just don't ultimately buy that I'm going to miss from that distance. I'm sorry. I'm making the game. Don't make... Miss... I just... Well, listen. Not if I'm an... Not if I'm an expert in pistol use. That's all. I mean, like, not if I'm an expert in pistol use, you know? It's one thing if I'm, like, you know, an incompetent clown and my whole, like, I, I don't know what I'm doing and that's part of the deal. But, like, if I'm an expert in pistols, I can't miss from that distance. It's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. Where are you, bro? If the other one is an expert at dodging, I don't know. Uh, is he an expert at dodging while he's asleep? Because mine would dodged while he was unconscious. More cats. <laughs> if he's an expert at dodging, that's awesome. Not so much when he's unconscious. Damn it. Oh my god, with the poison. Alright, I'm not I'm not gonna deal with that. Um I have not yet done it, but actually, um, as I think Atomic is referring to, on my channel tonight finishes up. I have because of the Patreon I run, we've hit a goal that allows chat to make a decision about uh, what game they'd like me to play. So actually hold on a second. Matt. Okay, so actually, one of the game that is currently winning the poll, the last time I checked, 
the game that was winning the poll is actually um, uh, is actually Wasteland 2. So I may get a chance to play that this month and give it a try. So I'll get a chance to see what I think about Wasteland. I've heard good things about it. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of post-apocalyptic settings, but um, you know, I love obviously I love RPGs. So good games are good games. <laughs> Remo Williams could have done that, yeah. All right, well, so I don't really know what to do here. I mean, what I need is a merchant so I can sell it, get the 15 coins to get the potion. That's ultimately what I need, but like, I don't know, you know. All right. What I should do, I guess, is head back to the inn, which is not, I think, that far from here. All right, it's straight north, right? Pretty much. So, west and then north. Whoops. Let's see. By the looks of it, there won't be any welcoming committee for us. That I'll guarantee. I sense something. Many of the homes are protected. Oh, not very well, not professionally, but the peasants are hiding behind collections of blessings, amulets, and tokens. I wonder what it is has them cowed like this. Perhaps the fact that there's bandits around every freaking corner. This is the inn. Okay. Awesome. Let us rest, please. Nice. Okay. All right. So we're resting now, and that's wonderful. And I don't really know, though. I mean, I've gathered some material. Do you know of any merchants anywhere, guy? Let's see. We have simple laws. Pay I know about that already. Uh, let's see. Strahd? No. I am. Right. Where is your Burgomaster? We should talk to the Burgomaster. That would be helpful. Where the hell is the Burgomaster? Is that his house? Maybe that's his house. I mean, it's the biggest place. I guess that's got to be the Burgomaster's house. So where's the inn? There's the inn. So if I go basically northwest, I'll find it, right? Okay. Alright, northwest. All right. That's got to be the Burgermaster's home. Because the name Burger King was taken. Exactly. All right. This place sticks out like a gold ring in a pig's nose. What gives such a man the right to flaunt finery in a poor town? He's no doubt stolen the townsfolk blind by inflating their taxes. You'd think the lord of this place would be outraged. I assume this is the lord of this place. All right, let's find out if we're right. I seek the Burgomaster. Show me Burgomaster. I seek the Burgomaster so I can do a job for him. Medium rare. Oh, yeah. Who's with me? Does this guy have any guards in his place? He's just hidden behind 850 doors. A lot of oils of fiery burning. Let's 
against us now? Oh, that's too bad, Jedi. But I'm glad that he got to see it. Oh, really, Das? <laughs> to stuff the ballot? Listen, no, 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 no. Don't stuff the ballot is fine. If if you're stuffing, I mean, you know, if you guys are gonna come check it out, yes, but. But I am closing down that poll after tonight, so we will see what it's going to be at that point. All right. Uh, all right, so we got a lot of oil. A lot of oil of fiery burning. What is this dude? It's like an empty house. Right, down into the west, I guess. I mean, down into the east, rather. Right? Yeah. East. What? The heck is this guy? Show yourself, Burgermaster. The heck? This has got to be the dude. Hey, what's up, Chief Pudding? How you doing, man? Doing well, doing well. I'm doing well. I don't know where... Maybe... Okay, wait, wait, wait. West, south, and east, maybe? How about that? How about west, south, and east? Let's see, wait. West... Let's go the other way around. Let's go west and north first. That's the way out. Damn it. Back in you go. There you go. Are you suggesting you can hack things, uh, Dragon? Ah, the girl in the hat is a uh, fighter mage thief. So I'm using her... Oh, God. Darn it. Shoot. Rah. Um, I'm using her mostly as a rogue and a magician. She's got some wizard skills. Okay. Good. Alright, so... I guess I just have to go all the way south. And then east. So all the way south. All the way south, all the way south, all the way south, all the way south, and then east. It would seem we found the home of a man who can afford to be unstintingly generous to himself. This demonstration convinces me of one thing. When I am ready to change careers, tis a burgomaster I shall become. I'm going to talk to that dude in just a second, but first of all... I want to see what you got in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Mage Scroll of Ice Knife. Oh, it's already in my spell book. Alright. Fine then. Ooh, we got a couple things going on. What's this? Mage Scroll of Chill Touch. Scribed. Count Strahd's writ. What does Count Strahd's writ say? Oh, Summoner is a pretty good game. I played that a long time ago. <laughs> By the authority of our Lord Strahd von Zarovich, the following rumors are being stamped out of the minds of the Burgomasters, Boyars, oh, excuse me, it's him, and the peasants of the villages of Ravenloft. Anyone repeating them is to be put to death immediately, without trial and before making any public statement. They are. That our lord is involved in any way in the arts of necromancy. Two. That Strahd has made a pact with death to obtain his heart's desire, or has therefore been transformed in any way. Three. That the Bal Verzi dagger used to kill Strahd's brother was last known to be in Strahd's possession. Four. 
that the woman Tatiana plunged to her death while attempting to embrace the embrace of Strahd von Zarovich. Five, that obviously Strahd is a vampire because you know that's the case. Six, that Strahd actually secretly likes My Little Pony, although he won't tell anyone about it. By order of Count Strahd von Zarovich. Okay. So just keep that in mind, guys. Nice. want to do <laughs> all right uh, I think I got everything out of here actually wait maybe I did almost did All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's Burgermaster time. Wait, who's the... Who have we got here? I've never seen an elf closed up with books and soft chairs before, soothing her sorrows with Twika. Seems a pity, doesn't it? Are you speaking to me? Books are the forest of mage journeys through, my friend. Sometimes counting herself lucky to find a treasure hidden. Allow me to embarrass our host. You see, I've grown bored with his attempts to win my trust with his land tweaker, false friendship. Might an elven mage from Syndicate sign on with you? The thing is, I need a mage, and, uh... Hmm... I need a, I need a mage and a rogue at the moment, so I'm gonna say no. I... I will. But be assured, I stand ready to be of service when you return. Okay, Valika the Mage. Oops. It's tempting. It's tempting. I, I very seriously considered picking her up, but... Alright, Burgermaster. What's up, bro? Your Excellency, uh, Your Honor, uh, please forgive me, I'm not schooled in how to address a Burgermaster. How do you... My dear sweet traveler, please. We Burgermasters are called by our title. I expect you will make my home yours while you are here. In the name of Lord Strahd, whose humble servant I am, please relax. Enjoy. Um, let's see... I see another enjoys your hospitality, an elf of striking mien and grace. May we converse with her? My other guest, yes. Well, elves, you know, are rare in Barovia. You may know them. And Lord Strahd has such a keen interest in the unusual. <laughs> but then... <laughs> I'm rambling. Feel free. Join my other guest in conversation, if that is, she will agree. As fellow pilgrims in Ravenloft, you may have much to discuss. Boy, voice acting has come a long way. All right. Uh, Burgermaster, we've heard so much of Count Strahd von Zarovich. In some lands, weeks might pass before a traveler learns the ruler's name, but not here. Who is this man? Ah, I was coming to that. You see, your interest in the Great One is matched by his interest in you. As Burgermaster, I have been instructed to present you with a letter of invitation. From Strahd himself. In no way is this a trap. It is a great honor. And not a trap. Uh, what does Strahd, Burgermaster, what does, wait a minute. What does Strahd know of us? Does he invite every visitor to his castle? Was your elven guest invited? At the risk of being rude, I say the dignity of my office would suffer were I to answer so many questions. The honor of Strahd's enchanting offer extends to you alone. My advice is not to refuse. And if my words do not impress you, if I cannot persuade you, he will compel you to go. His carriage awaits even now. Please allow me to take you there. Hmm. Alright, take us there. Let's do it. 
Time to visit Strahd. As promised, the Borgo Master directs you to Strahd's camp. While it is a beautifully appointed vehicle, you cannot help but notice that there is no driver. It's a tarp! The steeds fret impatiently. They appear intelligent, even anxious to fulfill their assigned duty. As the carriage comes about a bend in the terrain, you gain your first glimpse of Castle Ravenloft. Already gripped by apprehension, a sudden dread fills you as the carriage at last approaches the gates of the castle. <laughs> Onwards to certain death. Okay. Everything will be fine. We're guests after all. Strange that I should say such a thing. Yet there is in this air something which brings sweat to the palms. My breath grows short and my heart pounds. While as if for no reason my muscles tense for a fight. All of a sudden you see this balding guy with blonde hair walk up to you and he's like, I remember doing the time warp. Let's do the time warp again. See what the letter says. Unto the visitors in my land, Count Strad von Zarovich, Lord of Barovia, sends greetings. Gentle travelers, I pray you accede to my humble wish and meet with me tonight in Castle Ravenloft. Your activities have brought many questions to my mind. As you in turn must possess certain curiosities about me, I feel a friendly interview to be in order. My carriage shall bear you to the castle in both comfort and safety. It is therefore in pleasurable anticipation of our conference that I await your arrival. Count Strad von Zorovich. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Actually, can you carry this in here? Yes, can you carry that in there? Lovely. Can you carry a pickaxe? No. It's worth a shot. Oops. Okay. Nice. All right. Uh. Arvin Strad's castle. What? Hey, I better not get attacked the minute I arrive, man. Hi. What's up? What's up, bros? Apparently the lord of this castle doesn't want us exploring his home or wandering too freely from our path. With what we've heard of Strahd, I say we go only through those rooms open to us. For now, anyway. Alright. Whoa! Hey! Hi, guys. What's up? Um, those guys look kind of badass. I'm gonna go that way either. These are very specific places that you want me to be. I feel like I'm being railroaded. Okay. Well, there's one way to go. The doors open upon a scene of warmth and invitation. Yet before the richly laid table and other fine appointments of the room can be examined, Strahd, people! The occupant of the chamber draws all attention. My god, it's Darth Vader. It can be none other than Strahd von Zorovich. Hello, Strahd. Welcome to Castle Ravenloft. Oh my god, the voice acting. Inconvenience too. It is easy to forget how commanding a summons can seem to mere. Uh, to wanderers such as you when exploring a new realm. You understand that no ordinary turn of the road led you to this land. All who enter it arrive in answer to a call, to a summons more binding than any a mere lord might give. Here we are, all of us, and here we shall remain. 
No road leads out of this mist-bound universe. The land entraps many. Its ruler is no exception. And so I have devoted my life to- Exactly, Jedi. It is the least a lord can do for his people, is it not? My most recent study concerns certain portals, those dimensional gateways of which mages and philosophers speak. One such portal may lie in the caverns west of Barovia, near the river. Aside from myself, I believe you are the first to hear of it. But please, before you rush to the shores of the Iblis, allow me to present you with a key. If you are to gain entrance to these caverns, you will find it necessary. Okay. I have no time to try the key myself, for adventure is a luxury I can ill afford. However, as I see you are capable, and as I trust you will never betray your host, oh, shit. the key me. shall be yours for a time. Go as my agent and search out this gateway beneath the Iblis. Okay. But enough talk. Please, I have invited you here to join in a pleasant repast. After we finish the best food and bread right. Olivia has to offer, I will have my carriage return you to town. This guy looks totally legit. Seems totally legit. The encounter ends as pleasantly as it began, with a heartfelt farewell and wishes for a safe journey from Strahd von Zarovich. Has the Lord of Ravenloft proven himself a gentleman? As the carriage clatters back across the bridge, that it's time to reflect on this first encounter with Strahd. All right. So I have to go to the caverns. All right, so let's see here. Whoa, what? Wait a second. What the hell is this? Oh, it's the seal of entrance, okay. So, let's see, uh, let's save it here, but also Gypsy card There we go. Alright, good. Now the question is though, I don't remember where he said all of this stuff was. I still need a goddamn merchant. I still need a merchant. Still looking for a merchant. No reason to wait. Old Svotlich Road North. Did he say the cavern was west, north, east? That was close. That's Citizen Kane. Well done. There's some definite things that could have been done to improve uh, the UI here. It's kind of clunky, honestly. All right. Uh, Goddamn. Why does that keep happening? Why does that keep happening? Sorry. I don't know why that keeps happening. 
Something about my keybinds must be getting fouled up. I apologize. <laughs> I don't know why that's happening, but... I apologize. Something about my keybinds, I guess. Anyway... I can go back there. Oh boy. Attack the wars with powerful evidence of the judicial system, yes. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Little too close for comfort. <laughs> All right. All right, so... Oh, my gosh. Bunch of sling stones. Not what I meant to do. Plenty of sling stones. I just need a freaking sling. I have not yet found. I can't ever remember the last time I played a role playing game this far into it and had yet to find. Uh, oh, wow. And had yet to find a freaking. Um, uh. And had yet to find a um, merchant. I can't remember the last time I played a game where I waited this long to find a merchant. This game is definitely a breed apart in that regard. There we go. Lovely. Alright, um, let's save it. This is a dangerous place to rest, but too many monsters about. Uh, all right, she's gonna have to use one of these then. I just can't take any chances. I see something there. I think I see something. Yep. Oh my god, what? Alright, I already lost someone. At least it loads quickly. Oh god, what? Zombie! Zombie, no! This is bad. This is very bad. Okay. Oh my god. No, 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 no. This is not, this is not gonna work. This is not going to work.
Really bad, really bad. Oh my god. Ah! Too many zombies! Zombies everywhere! Oh god. Wargs, zombies. This is Doomville right here. This is total Doomville. Okay, yeah, we're, we're getting the hell out of here. No, we're out, we're out, we're out! Oh my god, what? We are getting the hell out. <sighs> Too many monsters about. Oh my god, stop with all the monsters! Man. Crazy! It's possible, Max. I don't know. I mean... I definitely have heard that the combat in here is deadly. Um, but... This is certainly a step up in deadliness. Okay, anyway, there is nothing there that's worth finding. I think that's pretty obvious. So let's just keep heading straight north. I'm gonna bother with the sling stones. I still need a sling. Oh, Hand of Fate. Hand of Fate is awesome. I played and won that game uh, on my stream during the summer. Great stuff. Alright, wolves. Wow. Man. Freaking power is real. Hand of Fate is like a uh, combination adventure game with sort of a card game component uh, thrown into it. It's kind of a deck builder, actually, in a way. Um, and a uh, very, very cool game. It's done by a fairly small Australian company and really, really good stuff. It does. Yeah, Don, for sure. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this, by the way. Uh, this is episode 7 of Pen and Pixels, which focuses on story and narrative. And I'm currently trying the best I can to play, um, uh, to play uh, some Ravenloft. Uh, if you like what you've seen here, please make sure to give the uh, good old games channel a follow. A lot of good streamers on here, and uh, a lot of good people that I enjoy watching when I'm not streaming myself. Also, check out my own channel as well, uh, if you guys like what you see here, uh, which is over at Arvanelleron. Lots of cool games being played over there, including Phoenix Wright, um, as you've seen a few times tonight by accident. So, if you guys are interested in seeing more of that. Also, I'm playing some D&D on Thursday uh, as well. I'll be streaming on my channel after the show tonight, um, but also on Thursday. I'll be playing some uh, d and um, with uh, my crew, and on the 21st I have a special event with Ed Greenwood himself, the creator of the Forgotten Realms, playing d and um, So that should be, uh, he's actually streaming, doing d and for us, an adventure that he wrote, so that should be a good time. So please make sure to uh, check us out, uh, and uh, thank you for checking us out. My pleasure. I saw that Bard's Tale is actually, I'm pretty sure Bard's Tale has been played, but I'll tell you what, if you think these graphics are a little bit sort of behind the times, uh, <laughs> you ain't lived till you've seen Bard's Tale, I'll tell you that right now. It is quite something. Thanks, Jock. Castle Ravenloft, okay. Uh oh. Castle Ravenloft. Well, I don't... God damn it. Ah. I 
That's correct, I will be playing. I'm gonna be playing wizardry here. You bite your tongue, Foom. There will be no wizardry going on. Although this is reminding me quite a bit of the horrific UI of wizardry. You know all about that, right? Oh god damn it. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Still love you, man. Still love you. All the love, despite that. Foom, did you ever play this game, uh, by the way? Have you ever played Ravenloft? Because I never played this back in the day. Maybe I should be going south? I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go here. That's the Svalich Road South. Maybe I need to keep going south? It's not the woods. Never checked it out. Yeah, me either. I don't remember where the heck... I honestly don't remember where... He said the car the uh, caverns, but I don't remember where he said the caverns were. Yeah, there's a print button, right? You love that? Yeah, I see the enemy right down there. I don't know if I should just keep continually go south. Because I feel like that's that can't be it. Because if I go south... This is definitely not it. This is where I started from. So it's definitely not there. Forgotten Realms Forest is where I started. It's not there. It's not here where I escaped. This is where I came up from. I came up from the Svalich Road south, I guess. I don't know where else I could go. I guess I could go south and east. It might be able to go south and east, that's possible. I'm not even dealing with you guys. Not even dealing. I already know about that. There we go. Let's get in there and rest. Oh, nice. Yeah, Neverwinter Nights was good. Neverwinter Nights was kind of an underrated game because the single-player campaign was only okay. It wasn't amazing. It was only okay. Um, but, uh, but it had some really good parts to it. And, of course, afterwards, it got all of these sort of static worlds that really worked well. Or these persistent worlds, I mean. Ah, George. I know about that. An agree no need to grow surly, friend. Where is there a merchant? There is no merchant. It, it freaking drives me up a wall. There's no merchant anywhere. I have no idea where the merchants are. They just don't exist. Okay. All right, I know about that. All right, so let's keep going south. So we're basically just gonna go south all the way as far as I can go. Where are you? South, I'm gonna, which I'm gonna enter from there. I'm gonna go all the way down here and I'm gonna head here and then east, so. Basically, south. As far as I can go. Uh, 
the Don't care about whatever's there. Don't care about you. Alright. Still farther south, I guess. Uh, D and D combat depends on what edition you're talking about, though. Metal, I mean, fourth edition combat is way too slow, but I, I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty happy with five E combat. I think it works pretty quickly. All right, Just move it. Have a seat. <laughs> I still hear you, bro. Okay. Let's throw this... Why do I keep... Uh, let's do that. Uh, so, Baldur's Gate um, 1 and 2 uses 2nd edition rules. Neverwinter Nights, I believe, uh, uses... 3rd edition rules, if I'm not mistaken. I think Icewind Dale was the first one to use 3E, and then Neverwinter Nights also used 3E, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember if they used 3 or 3.5. I suspect it's 3. In my opinion, the best edition so far is 5th uh, edition, in my opinion. And I say that as someone who played every one except 3.5. I didn't play 3.5 because when I got to 3.5, I just... It was... I'm not... I've seen enough of it to know that I was tired of all of the extra, like, nonsense that 3rd edition... Uh, that 3.5 put you through. Overly complicated and too much... too many moving parts. In my humble opinion. Okay. No need to waste time on the gate. I once helped Otako the Smith forge a portcullis with bars that thick. He and I lifted and hammered burns our hand and learned our lessons, and I tell you, I could lift a treasure vault easier than I could bend those bars. I say we go back. Okay, so that's not it. This is clearly not going to be it. What? Oh. Um, I know some people have worked on Pathfinder, but basically Pathfinder is just an adjusted 3.5. I mean, it was 3.5, and then because of terrible mismanagement on the part of Wizards of the Coast, Pathfinder, Paizo ended up basically getting it sort of sight unseen, and only now, I think, is uh, WotC really recovering from a pretty dumb decision on their part, I think. But, um, and I like the guys at Paizo. I know, I know James L. Sutter, and I know some of the people over there. Um, and I have a number of friends. In fact, that D&D &D event I told you about, one of the authors is Chris Jackson, who writes for Pathfinder. So, I mean, I, you know, I have, I have no complaints about that, but I just, to me, it was overboard on the complications. Um, and to me, it had a tendency to sort of slow things down. Okay, so this is clearly not it. And that's... See, that leads back to the east. I don't know where the hell these caverns are, then. Oh, come here. Bastard. I 
All right, let's cure some light wounds. Say that's fair. Okay, let's keep going north. Um, so maybe I can go east here and I just didn't realize it. This is going to be interesting. We'll see. I feel like I'm just going to get aggroed by everything. It was awfully close. Dungeons and Dragons was a much simil uh, was a much simpler system than advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and AD and D is what most people think of when they consider what D and D actually is these days. Um, and uh, I mean, I played actually not that long ago a pickup game um, in uh, first edition. In fact, I don't think I've ever told that story in here. I don't think I ever t did I ever tell you guys the story of playing. No, I don't think I did. All right, let me get to a spot where I can, uh, let me cover everything I need to do here, and then I will, uh, I'll tell you guys a story about a first edition game that I played. That lay on hands was not that impressive. Uh, it won't necessarily follow me forever, I don't believe. Um, and there's different, like, sort of, um, quadrants almost that it won't go beyond. So, there's that. Um, but the problem I'm having is I just don't know where the hell I'm going because I don't, I have to find these caverns, but I don't know where those caverns are and I don't know where there's a merchant. I could use a merchant badly because that way I could actually sell some of this stuff and I could have enough money that I could use on, um, uh, you, uh money that I could actually use to buy this potion to get beyond the mists of the land. But, you know, Raven, Strahd said that I could go to the caverns. I'm going to have to use the, um, clue book in a second, I think. Yeah, see, this is clearly not it. I guess just east and then just keep going back north. Or west, I mean, and keep going back north. So south. Back into Barovia. Now let's get to the inn. And then we'll try going north instead. Where's my inn? Okay. More or less a straight shot north until I hit a wall and then I turn east. Da -da 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 -da. Here's the inn. Okay. Made it. Awesome. Okay. All right, you guys ready for my uh, story? You guys ready for the story? Let me give you guys this story that I was going to tell you guys about. So, um, uh, some years back, uh, I found myself in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, the reason that Gen Con, the famous game convention that also is a big writing track that I go to every year, is called Gen Con is because it started in Geneva, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And I found myself there because there was a wedding. Oh. Hi there. There was a wedding, uh, and my wife was in the uh, wedding party. So we went to this place, 
And while I was there, there was a game store there. Now, of course, I remembered as a kid having gone to Lake Geneva. Uh, I mean, having uh, seen Lake Geneva and, you know, many descriptions of it and stuff like that. And I knew that that was the founding point. Lake Geneva is where Gary Gygax lived, and that's where he did a lot of his stuff. Of course, Gary Gygax, the creator, along with Dave Arneson, of Dungeons & Dragons. So um, I ended up, I was like, there must be like a game store or something like that. And sure enough, I found a game store. You were just there? No kidding, Sanga. That's cool. So I ended up finding, um, there was a game store there, and I went into it. Um, and I was looking around the store, and I asked the guy, I'm like, so, the behind the counter, I'm like, oh, you know, so... Hi, I'm just sort of stopped in, you know, I I wonder if you happen to know if there's like, uh, if, you know, Gary Gygax still has his store, you know, had his store here, I, you know, he had passed away by then, but, had, you know, did he have a store here? Uh, no, he hadn't, I'm sorry, he hadn't passed away by then. And I was like, if he had a store there, and he said, oh, well, actually, that's my father. And I was like, oh. And he was like, yeah, he's like, you know, so why do you ask? And so I, you know, talked, told him I've been playing Dungeons & Dragons since I was like 12 or 13, and, you know, it was a big deal for me, and blah, 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 blah. We went back and forth. And at the end of the conversation, he was like, well, you know, I mean, if you want to swing back tonight, we actually are going to be playing like a kind of casual Dungeons and Dragons game. And, uh, you know, my dad is going to be dungeon mastering it. Gary Gygax, the creator of D&D, &D, was going to be dungeon mastering this game. Did I go, chat? Did I go back and tell my wife, I'd love to go attend this wedding that we're here for, but instead I have to go play Dungeons and Dragons with the founder of Dungeons and Dragons? I did not. I did not go. And of course, as we know, a couple of years afterwards, Gary Gygax sadly passed away. Fast forward now to when I went back to Lake Geneva as part of something called the Wellspring Writers Workshop. It's an invite-only workshop that professional authors are invited to to workshop uh, novel manuscripts and stuff like that. And I was there and I told that story to some of the people in the workshop, friends of mine, and they were like, oh, you totally have to go back to the store. I'm like, well, but look, he's, he's passed away, you know, blah, 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 blah. I was like, no, 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 you should still go. So we go back to, I should have, I know it. So I go back to the store, same place, and um, there's this like uh, store that's opened up there and it's owned not by Gary Gygax's son anymore, but it's owned by this guy and I'm talking to him and he's like, oh yeah, he's like, yeah, um, you know, sadly, uh, you know, of course Gary passed away, but we still have some of the old guard that actually plays. And he's like, actually, if you like, you can go into the back room later this evening uh, and we're actually playing a pickup game of Dungeons and Dragons with one of the guys that played all the time with Gary and his crew. And I was like, oh, okay. And he shows me to, and I kid you not, you took the picture of his memorial? Yeah, yeah no, I know. I know he passed away a while ago, but yeah, poor Gary, I know. But so, um, so I was like, okay, and he goes over to where the room is. The room itself is behind a movable bookcase. Like, you know one of those deals like where you like pull the book out and like the thing pivots out? It wasn't quite like that, but there was a shelf with a bunch of games and books that literally swung out to reveal a room in the back. And so I told my, you know, so I went back and I told my writer friends this and they're like, you have to go. I'm like, well, come on. I mean, it's a little silly. They're like, no, 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 no. This is your chance to redeem yourself. I'm like, okay. So I ended up going back that night and then ended up being me and this other like young kid, probably, I don't know, 12 or 13. And remember, I'm going back when I'm like in my late 30s, right? And this kid is like 12 or 13. And this guy is playing who's like a DM who's in like his 60s, who's like super old school, like ultimate first edition like just you know a bunch of loose leaf paper with like pencil drawings and like you know mega old school and i played a pickup game of first edition D, &D with them had an absolute blast it was great and so it was not playing D, &D with gary and i still should have gone and done that instead of being the dutiful you know the good guy husband and going to uh, support his wife at this wedding um uh, as the as one of the uh, people in the party but at least I got to go and play D&D in Lake Geneva in a secret room in the back of a game store with those other guys. So at least I had that. Um, that was cool times. I, I, I really did enjoy that. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I know it, Dragon, I know. They're not gonna let me in. You sons of... Really? You're not gonna let me in here, huh?
Ah! <laughs> oh, thank you. It's like a D&D &D bat cave. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, my wife, you know, my wife totally understands the deal. And she felt bad that it happened. I mean, I don't know. If I had seriously asked her, I mean, maybe she would have said... Maybe she would have said, that's fine. I don't know. You know? I've got to open up a clue book because I don't know where I'm going. I do not know where I'm going. So it's possible, you know, that I could have done that. It's possible that, that had I, you know, I, I could have asked her. But I just felt like the right thing to do was to go in a different direction. And All right, I'm going to open up the clue book because I need to find where I'm going. Uh, read more stuff. Clue book. Where am I going? Oh my gosh, the clue book. Dust towards Aga. So, did the couple get divorced? No, as far as I know, they're still together, Karth. As far as I know, they're still hanging in there. What is, uh, what is, um, what is Dust Schwarza Aga? Which I'm sure I'm sorry I'm butchering that pronunciation. What is that? Also, another question. Why am I not able to... Oh, the Circle of Magical Stones, you can rest there. That's good to know. West of Barovia. West of Barovia? Okay. West of Barovia. Oh, is the Black Eye? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've heard of the Black Eye. I have heard of the Black Eye. Alright, West of Barovia. Okay. West of Barovia. At least my party moves pretty fast. I will say that. Once they get going, they really they really kick it all the way live. It's a German pen and paper, but it's also but isn't it also a uh isn't it also an RPG like a a video RPG? I seem to remember having seen something about the dark eye. Yeah, okay, there's a place to the west. There's a place to the west. Right over there. Okay. Dragon saying, yeah. All right, here we are. Wooded area west of Barovia. All right, and we're looking for caverns. Is what we're looking for. Oh my god. Bats! Bats everywhere! That is a lot of bats. Yo. That is a lot of bats. were some serious no joke bats there. I think there's actually some there are my arrows. It's like heck did my arrows end up? Oops. Oh, Realms of Arcania is based on it as well. My wife just peeked in the room. That does not surprise me. More bats! Alright, 
fortunately, fortunately bats are not a big deal. I do not mind bats. It'd be so much easier if we could just like put it into the hand that's covered. Got about another hour, by the way, and in about 45 minutes or so, we will run a uh, raffle. And uh, before we head off to where I'm going to go, uh, I bet that is another one of my arrows, which I better go get. Another one of my arrows is back there, I will bet. Do, 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 do. Yes, please send me right to the tree. And that lag on the song playing is real. Lag is real. Alright. What the hell is this? Ah, who's this dude? This guy looks like a magician or a merchant. Please tell me you're a merchant. What's up, bro? How are you today, sir? There aren't many with the courage to live alone out here. Not that I've seen. And what do you see? What can you see beyond light, beyond dust, moat stirred in some corner near a window, or some brief flash in the sky which frightens you to the bone? Well, I see the echo of your thoughts and hear the scent of your fear. Ha! Ah, you think me mad, but magic does that, doesn't it? I am mad with magic. My strange speaking friend, if you were a mage, what are you doing in this meager hut near the walls? Where should I be? Iblis. Besides some burgomaster's fireplace and an overstuffed chair as though I were his property or his prize? Or squandering my powers to maintain a household of my own? No. I sit here, happy in the rich casino. This voice acting man. Mind. I observe the rule of excellence. I'm ready for anything. I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Of course. You are, after all, not here to serve me, but to serve destiny. Wherever I go with you, it will be as it must. And I, in turn, will learn whatever it is you are here to teach me. Oh, don't worry if you don't understand. Even I, a great and powerful wizard, do not understand. I only do what the day requires. Strange to say, but I've enjoyed our restless wandering time together. Perhaps we'll meet again and continue the adventure. But for today, enough will be enough. Should you need me again, come to Barovia and look for whatever place I've found to call my home. I'm going to check and see what's going on here. Don't know if I'm going to keep him or not. Okay, so he keeps the stuff. That's good. Alright, what's the deal with this guy? Wanda Fireballs. Rizard. Chaotic neutral. Oh, God. Uh, 17 intelligence, 18 wisdom. Hmm. What's up, Dark and Wolf? sure if I want to keep this guy or not. First of all, oh my god. We're going to have to rest in here, obviously. Rizard, okay. He's got magic missile, I like that. I mean, uh, he's, um, well, he already had magic missile. He's got armor, is what I was going to say, and I like that. Burning hands. Uh, ice knife. Solid. Invisibility 10 foot radius is very nice. I like that. I also like that. doesn't have he has ice storm scribe but he can't do it yet all right
Okay. Okay. Really? Yeah, I know exactly, Mercurius. Not exactly. Mercurius, of course, knows that it is not my absolute favorite by any stretch. I assume I would be neutral good. I might be chaotic good. Either chaotic good or neutral good. Okay. I should do that test, though. See, I don't really think... The thing is, I don't actually believe that most characters... Oh, nice. I don't actually believe that most characters are, in fact... Nice. Uh, I don't believe that most characters... Uh, most people actually are neutral good. I mean, uh, are true neutral. I think those are things that they assume they might be. But, um... But in practice, um, it's very difficult to actually be that kind of a person. Okay. Let's throw a quiver on your back just in case. This is going to go here. Composite bow. Throwing knife. Nice. All right in my spell book, okay? Lovely. All right, is that, is that all my items, I think? Exactly, Metal. If you played it right, you'd be in... Exactly. You'd be alone and by yourself most of the time. All right. Um, That's what I thought. Proficiency rules too strong. This back row. That's why you're scraping the neutral good side, yep. Yep, I hear that. Alright. I'm still looking for freaking merchant. There is still no flippin' merchants to be found here. I'm gonna guess that that thing over there is actually, uh, the NPC that will... Uh, hello? Oh god, a werewolf! WEREWOLF! Oh my god! Bats! Skeletal bats! Enemies everywhere! Uh. Okay, that was botched. We're not doing that. That's not going to work. Alright, we're going to try this again. I'm going to try again. This time, we are going to bless you. We are going to aid. You. We are going to armor you. All right, we'll save it there. Love to be able to get to this guy from a distance, okay. Come here, come here, come here.
I got one of these guys. What the hell? Why is he? What the hell happened to him? Is that just his aided score? I guess it's his aided score. All right, that fireball did some good. Um, let's make this. I think I took down that time. Oh, did Thorg? Thorg, are you here? What's up, Thorg? How you doing, man? I didn't see you stop in. Okay, there's gotta be another werewolf somewhere. I see you. I see the skeletal bats. That's right. Not messing around with werewolves. Not going to do it. Not messing with werewolves. There we go, cool. Uh, I replaced the mage thief with this better mage to see whether or not that made a difference on my fighting ability. Oh God. Oh my God, so many bats. Skeletal bats everywhere. There's a lot of bats. God, what is going on with this stupid... I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know what... I don't know what my keybind is doing that's making it switch over to that. It's really irritating. I have, it's true. Oh, this lady! What the hell are you doing here? This lady didn't want to talk to me before. Surely the day is not as glum as the expression in your eyes would have it. What my eyes may say is beyond my control, much as I would wish otherwise. Even so, I do not recall giving you permission to greet me eye to eye. I guess so. But unless you are graced with a magic powerful enough to breach the caverns beneath yon river, turn at once. Leave my sight. Damn. It's the ghost in the machine. Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if we encountered someone in the caverns. Perhaps one of the birds. Well, thank you. Ah, uh, I don't want to drop this dude. For me to leave now is no more and no less than the day requires. What must be will be, whether I exert my magic to influence the outcome or not. So the grounds and streams and paths will return me to my hut. My feet will feel the trail they provide. When destiny calls you back to me, I will be there, sharpening my skills, madness, and magic. All right. I want to see whether she's any good or not. Armagard, whether given grudgingly or not, your assistance is welcome. One thing appears clear that we shall not find our way through the portal in the caverns without you, alive and well and at our sides. Okay. Who is this lady? She's also a cleric? What? I don't need two clerics. Ooh, but I do need your sling. Thanks for the sling. Wow, you've got a lot of healing. Uh, I'm just going to grab all of this healing. So, I'm just going to take all this stuff. And uh, I'm going to... Take all of this business here.
All right, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get the mage. Um, going right back to the hut. Okay. What's up, bro? Welcome back. Of course. By all the names, scandalous, contemptible tricks. We've no more left Ravenlock than we found that pocket of Arvindor on the plain of Olympus where Avernape dwells. I've wasted my time dealing with such a rowdy, churlish lover as you. Let me get you from my side as quickly as I can. Goodbye, and ill luck to you. Well, I think that went well. Thanks, though, for giving me all your stuff. I appreciate it, lady. Thank you for giving me all of your stuff. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Uh, you know, sometimes people just sort of come through for you. And I, I really want to tell you how much I appreciate what you've done. It's, um, it's a pleasure to have you, uh, to have had you in the crew. And, um... And uh, now we're now we're gone. No, she is not. Not a pleasant person. I'm definitely gonna have to drop some stuff. In fact, I might as well do that here. I'm gonna drop some stuff here. Actually, wait a second. You can use you can at least use a quarter staff, can't you? Yes. Yes, you can. Lovely. Congratulations, you have a quarter staff now. Uh okay. It's just for the moment. Um <laughs> What's kind of funny is that she's acting like the only reason I did this. Um, was so that I could get her stuff. And the funny thing about that is that she's right. <laughs> she is 100% correct that all I was trying to do basically was to get her stuff. And uh, mission accomplished. I think that's the lesson we've learned today. Is mission accomplished. Okay, I don't think I need a billion daggers, so let's throw that down there. I think I need two shields, or indeed even three shields. Let's get rid of those two shields. Whoops, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, lovely. Let's give you some oils of fiery burning. Definitely need uh, some healing, though. Let's go with that. Right, okay. I think that's better. Now we should be in a better spot. And I hope I'm right about the sling stone. Let me, let me test it out, actually. Yeah. Awesome. Whoops. All right, lovely. Okay. Let's do that. Woman's <laughs> wearing a surgical mask because she's an awesome ninja. Allegedly. Okay, and then back out here. There we go. Hey! 
It's the woman who hates me. You'll excuse me if I just, uh, pick up some stuff. I know this is maybe a little awkward for you, but... Oh, God. There we go. Let's save that. Bearhelm guy is a wizard. Bearhelm guy is a wizard. No, cleric does not have to be neutral. In fact, oftentimes the cleric is uh, lawful, depending. I mean, it depends on the on the particular god. But okay. Okay. Lovely. Caverns. Let's do it. <laughs> Angry ninja lady. What? the heck? Uh... This looks perfectly safe, people. Wow. Perfectly safe. Up with Outstar's gang. No, Outstar is not neutral evil. What? Whoa! Who's that dude? Who the hell are you? What? Hey! The hell are you? Um, friend, I must ask you, what are you about in this dark artery beneath the Iblis? Because so few dare to venture here does not make us friends. I am neither your friend nor your enemy, but I may be willing to bargain. You see, I know you, or know of Hey, you. what's up, Tim? I share your goal. How you doing, man? You can, as it were, trust me. As we wander these caverns together, you will come to know me as a man of constant resolution. One well suited to become your partner. Partner. Uh, if we may be so bold as to ask, in your travels in these caverns, have you encountered anything unusual? The existence of the caverns themselves, lying beneath the dark Iblis, is unusual. For my part, I am seeking a... Yeah, good to, to see you, man. Thieves may use it to travel between Ravenloft and a kingdom known as Elturel. If true, their back and forth wanderings bring untaxed wealth into the land. As an agent of the Burgomaster, I must join your band to assure that you are not so engaged. What? Do you know your way about these caverns? One might as well toss coins into Lake Zarovich and speak freely in this harsh, unblinking world of ours. Still, having met you here, there may be some good we can do for one another. I posit you this case. I Allow hope this guy doesn't look good and is epically terrible. To join you, under close watch if necessary. And I will reveal my knowledge when it seems profitable. I insist. Your courage, too, has not gone unnoticed. At first I believed you were thief. I hope this guy's good. But your manner reveals otherwise. It is well that I have met you, and perhaps as we travel together, our separate purposes will become one. 
We can talk and learn much of one another's plans. Let me drop him because I can get him back quickly. Yes, I already know about that. I want to see who this dude is. Ladislav. Level 7 chaotic neutral half-elf male. Problem is, though, that he's kind of a. I don't think this guy is really helping me, though, as a fighter, is the problem. I, I don't need him where he is, so... Alright, we're gonna go east. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Okay, good. Oh, so he only helps you inside? Okay, well then screw that. Well then, I'm not gonna... Then the heck with that. Alright, so that guy doesn't help me. Okay. Alright, so that's not helpful. Not helpful. Alright, this guy. Let's see, because what are you about? Found anything unusual? No other caverns. And no, I'm not joining you. Wait a minute, are you not gonna let me... You're not gonna let me pass? What? Really? You're not gonna let me pass? Really? Really? You're not gonna let me pass? What a clown. He's not gonna let me pass. Yeah, I can pick up party members, yes. He's not gonna let me pass. I have to give up one of my guys after all. I can't pass him. And I can't beat him up either. Wow. Wow. Really. So I have to take one of these guys. I mean, the guy... I See, the problem is, I'm going to give him... A, what a useless guy. What a useless guy. Alright, I guess I'll have to take you with me. And... Yeah, right, exactly. I know, Endless Night. Your courage. Oh God! Fine. Immediately. It's obnoxious. 
Because what it means is that I've got to take him and I've got to basically, I mean, what I'm going to do at least is give these guys more. Yeah. But I can't use him like back there. I can't, you know, he can't hit from the back row. It's annoying. So I'm going to have to like equip him with a bow, which is dumb. And I'm sure as hell not leaving this stuff. Even though it doesn't do any good, I might as well put it on. I can't kill him, no. No, I can't attack him. I wasn't able to attack him, so... That's unfortunate. What a waste. Because I don't want to put him up in the front lines is the thing. These guys are better fighters than he is. So he has to waste himself as a freaking ranged guy. I mean, the hut... Find a bell, yes, exactly. The hut is very much the same. Um, the, the hut is not that far from here, so it's not like it's going to be difficult to find uh, to get back my guys, but... Oh, we've got a portal map, don't we? We have got us a portal. Alright. Oops. the hell is this? Oh, a sling. Nice. A little late, but... Halberd. Does that give him reach? It ought to give him reach. Yes! Okay. Alright, alright. Now you're not so bad. Although I bet you won't be able to use this, will you? Nah, I didn't think so. Wait, actually, wait. Can you? No, you can't use that, can you? I forgot, okay, but he can't really use the shield as such. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. A few lethal stabs to the face, yes. That's true. Well, also, I mean, I don't trust this dude as far as I can throw him, so... I, I am not, you know... I'm not down with this dude at all. Alright, so... Legend of Grimrock, yeah, yeah. Except with Legend of Grimrock, of course, it's square by square, right? Well, what is that? What the hell is that? Some keyhole or something? Curse your sudden yet inevitable betrayal. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly right. Alright, well I'm not gonna go in there yet. I wanna at least explore what we've got here. hell is that sound
All right, and then East and Ober. Uh, Legend of Grimrock 2 was awesome. It was my game of the year last year. 2014 game of the year for me was Legend of Grimrock 2. Easily. All right, we got another portal here. We got a lot of portals, yo. A lot of portals. Yep. Same exact way. Same exact way. All right, we got about another 15 minutes or so. Ooh. Something opened up. Oh, hey there. Hi. Skeleton! It's bad. It's bad. Very bad. That's what I was looking for. I am not doing a lot of damage with edged weapons. Wonder why. Alright, hang on a second. I am in big trouble. Hang on a second, I gotta get out some... Get out a Warhammer that has a chance of doing more damage. Oops. Darn it. Oh, darn it. Got him. Got him. That was close, people. That was close. I actually didn't get hit for all that much damage when you think about it. I didn't get hit for a ton. It was just that I couldn't do any damage because I'm hitting him with all non-edge weapons. Yeah, there was a mace that I could have given to him as well. What the hell is this music? Someone at this point had gotten really tired in production. They're like, all right, just play this. What do you play now? Now you just play. All right. And then what? Then go. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I haven't caught on one of Unraveler's streams yet. I need to do that at some point. I hear all these rumors about this voiceover guy. And I gotta check out what all that means. I could have, actually, now that I think of it, I should have used the Oil of Fiery Burning on them. One of them would probably have done some serious damage. Oh, well. Lesson learned. Let's do that. Hey, what's up, Gray? That was someone going, oh, my cat, <laughs> my cat to compose a song with this game. The cat's like, what? What? By the way, those are the first enemies that we faced here. See, I knew, I knew this was in here somewhere. Okay. All right. So. Now I can erase that. Awesome. What is this? This looks really bad. This looks really, really troubling. Okay. That looked a lot worse than it was.
Whoa. Whoa, hey, whoa, God. That's right, turn undead. Just keep turning. It sounds like he's doing the... It sounds like the... Yeah! Man. You can see hammers are going to be at a premium here. Oh, uh, well, okay. I don't know. Okay. Wow. Damn, son. Bronze plate helm. Wow. What is this? Bronze plate mail. <gasps> nice. Awesome. Dude, there was a big fight that happened here. Some people came in here and they did not get out. This was like a raiding party or something. I swear to God, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Okay, really? Look. Alright, that mace is going to be helpful. Not any better, right? Okay. That's awesome. All right, so that's good. That's cool. There's like what five maces. There was like some party that was sent in here to do something or other. Okay. Good. Got that bronze plate mail. Okay. Alright, is that all that's here? Really? Something happened here. Nope. Still no trader in this game. Still no merchant, which is... And the thing is that unless... I mean, I'm there at some point, somehow, you gotta be able to get coins. Because the guy, the gypsy, wants me to give him 15 gold coins to get his potion to escape beyond the bounds of the mist, and obviously I can't do that yet. So... Alright. So I'm gonna have to go south. I still can't get through here, but we got that sort of covered. get this mace up and functioning and actually I'm gonna get the mace out of here and I'm gonna replace it with the footman's pick lovely because I want that mace close to hand I fail to see what would be hilarious about that nice that's all you need are the right weapons, people. In fact, if that's what I'm going to be fighting down here most of the time... Then I might as well... Might as well get that up there and going. I didn't, it's right, I didn't find a single gold coin. I haven't found any money at all, which, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm just sort of like, I'm a little surprised that I haven't found anything. Uh, let's see, south and west. Oh, check it out, check it out, check it out. 
Cleric Scroll of Light. Totally got to remember that I have all these spells. I am getting way down here, big time. I see a holy symbol there. Cleric holy symbol. see why I would need this, but just in case. I'm also going to drop a couple of these throwing knives. Alright. What we got here? Cleric Scroll of Fortify. Alright, whoops. Drop that. Good. Awesome. All right. So we're getting there. All right, we're just going to be able to go back there and then south to the east. Yep. Yeah. No, nope. it's definitely not about money. Definitely not about money. All right. Another, uh, let's see, another minute or so, and then we're going to have to, we'll run our raffle and call it for the night over here. Um, so. Oh, here we go. Here's the cat, cat composed music coming up here again. What? Oh god, what happened? Oh my god, teleport. Teleport. I <laughs> feel most unusual, but these caverns do not seem to be connected by tunnels. They're definitely not of dwarven origin. Our excavations are quite different. Uh, I'm calling it for the night over here. Yeah, man. Oh, what's up, man? Okay. Lovely. All right, then. That is going to be... The place... Are continuing. Nice. Alrighty, folks. That's where we're going to be where we call it for the evening. That was fun, though. Um, once we got into it. It was uh, sort of figuring out what was going on was not always the easiest thing, but uh, still, I was glad we were able to do that. Um, before we run the raffle, uh, actually, I think I'm going to open the raffle now, and then I'll, I'll yammer at you while that's happening. So let me open up my raffle... This raffle right now. Give me one second. Don't enter quite yet. Just hold on. Uh, let's see. Let's reset that just in case. I don't think we need to. Okay. Raffle has been opened. Uh, so go ahead, guys, and check this out. I believe this is um, a $9.99 code. This is the Ravenloft pack. So if you guys want to type in exclamation point raffle, and uh, if you are interested in checking out this game, uh, you can do so. Type in exclamation point raffle. And uh, once you guys are all entered, we will close that up. While you guys are doing that, I'll let you know that um, at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, just about five minutes from now, uh, actually, I guess about eight minutes from now, you'll be hearing from our good friend, uh, Matt Cat, uh, Chrono Wolf who is going to be bringing you into alternate reality. And I believe he said that he's uh, this is the last time he's doing this show. He's moving it around a little bit. So please um, make sure to stop by, make sure to stick around here and check him out. I'm going to be back on my channel uh, in about um, anywhere from 25 minutes to a half hour, somewhere between 10.15 and 10.30 Eastern. I will go on my channel with the next day of Phoenix Wright, uh, Ace Attorney. So would love to see any or all of you there. Um, if uh, But please try to multitask if you can and watch both of us because uh, Matt is a really good streamer. And um, and I love the good old games people, so I want to make sure that we're not undercutting each other to the extent that we can. Uh, please make sure to follow, by the way, both here at goodoldgames.com and over on my channel as well. And next week, uh, day uh, on episode 8 of Pen and Pixels, we will continue our Search of the Caverns as we continue to move on through Ravenloft. Okay. 
Is it odd that you, that I think? Do you think I look like a young version of Ron Perlman? That's cool. No, I got no problem with that. I have no problem with that. My boy Ron and I are like this. All right, last call, last call on this raffle, people. Last call here. Okay, and got all my raffle codes ready to go. <laughs> War never changes. Ron Perlman actually did a little bit of a, it wasn't a commencement speech, but it was, uh, he was like, uh, he was honored as uh, one of the people at um, the uh, university where I teach. Um, and so I've actually seen Ron Perlman face to face at some point. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. I take that back. I'm thinking of Ron Silver. Ron Perlman. Yeah. You know what? Somebody actually sent me, uh, and it was actually a guy, um, I think of the wrong guy. Never mind. Not Ron Perlman. I was thinking of Ron Silver. Ron Perlman. Yeah. Um, some guy actually sent me, um, a, uh, and it was a Poke Dude, if any of you know him from, uh, Foom, King Foom and Reverb Chat, sent me something, a picture of a guy from Black Ops 3 that reminds, that looks like, looks like Ron Perlman and looks like me. Um, and it does look a little bit like me, but the thing that was amazing to me is it actually looked like my father. Um, it looked like my dad, and I was amazed about that, because I was like, that's pretty, like, that looked like my dad, for sure. Um, so I was a little bit surprised about that. I hadn't thought about it before, but... So yes, apparently I look like Ron Perlman a little bit and Ron Perlman looks like my dad or something like that. So, okay, let's close out that raffle then. And let's see who won and the winner was. Mr. Peanut. What's up, Mr. Peanut? Please announce your presence, Mr. Peanut. Please announce that you are here because as soon as you do that, I am going to send you your code. There's Mr. Peanut, who gives me a big yay. That means that he's here. Congratulations. And hold on one second. All right, there we go. Oh, thank you for the follow, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Mr. Peanut is so excited, he's decided to follow me as well. Uh, okay, it is on its way to you, Mr. Peanut. Congratulations. Um, and thank you so much. And uh, yeah, and uh, for all of you who are here, I appreciate very much you're all having been here. And I even reset the raffle because that's how uh, I roll. That's my jam. That's what I remember to do. All right. It's been a pleasure, guys. Uh, love all of you here. Um, you are the best. And uh, thanks so much for joining me again for another episode of Pen and Pixels, where we focus on story and narrative. Again, this uh, weekend, if you haven't, uh, I haven't mentioned this already, again, on Thursday, Dungeons and Dragons over on my channel if you get a chance to check it out. But please make sure you check out all the amazing streamers here, including Outstar Matt and myself doing a creative stream in a couple of weeks. And right after me, stick around for Alternate Reality with Matt Cat Plays slash Chrono Wolf. Good guy, good streamer. Definitely check him out. Thanks all. Love you all. I'll be back at you on Good Old Games a uh, week from today, 7 p.m. Eastern, 12 a.m. GMT, and I will be uh, over at my channel in about 30, about 25 to 30 minutes from now. I'll see you over there, and hopefully you'll stick around here for Matt as well. Thanks all. Love you all. Have a good night.